Well, we hear a lot about saving for retirement and the importance of contributing to a 401k, but what if something urgent comes up and you really need to take that money out early? Stephanie O'Connell Rodriguez is here with me again in Studio 57 to talk a little bit more about the risks and the rules. She is the host of Real Simple Magazine's Money Confidential podcast. Hey, it's good to see you. Looks, I've known people who, you know, really got jammed up and they were able to tap into their 401k and they said it was a lifesaver. But, you know, there are consequences, right? So let's talk a little bit about this. What should people be considering if they're thinking about taking money out of their 401k? Well, the key with a 401k is that it's meant to fund your retirement. Mm -hmm. And so the IRS is really incentivizing you to save for that long-term future by letting you contribute your pre-tax money to the 401k. There's okay. a huge tax advantage to that account. And so if you do withdraw early, the IRS is going to disincentivize you from doing that mm. by hitting you with a 10% early withdrawal penalty. Mm -hmm. And that that's a big number. Mm -hmm. That might be the gains that you put your money into the 401k to capture to yeah. begin with, right? So that's the stuff you really want to consider is like, this is my long-term money. It's a mm -hmm. separate bucket that ideally I'm not going to touch before the age of 59 and a half. Mm -hmm. But as you mentioned, in a financial pinch, it can be an option and a lifeline. Right. Sometimes you're drowning and you just need that, that life, uh, life preserver or whatever. Um, so you can take out money early or you can get a loan. Explain right. that those two options. Yeah. So if you're going to take an early withdrawal, you're going to pay the taxes you take, uh, pay money on the taxes mm -hmm. you take out, and you're going to hit, get hit with that extra 10% penalty. Mm -hmm. However, if you want to avoid that penalty, mm -hmm. what you can do instead is take out a 401k loan. Now, there are some limits to this. You have to check with your plan administrator, right. and it has to be with your current 401k. So if you've done a lot of job hopping, maybe you don't have as much built up mm -hmm. in that 401k mm -hmm. to take out. Mm -hmm. So check with your administrator. You can take out around 50% of your vested balance or $50,000, whichever mm -hmm. is less, repay it over the course of around five years. However, if you lose your job or leave your job, you are going to owe that balance in full mm. in a very short time period, like 60 to 90 days, and then it converts to that early withdrawal okay. where you get hit with the penalties. Now, a thing to consider about the loan is that you might see a really attractive interest rate on that loan right. compared to a credit card, for example, but when you take money out, you're also missing out on the potential gains that you would have gotten by keeping that money in the account. So you right. want to take into account the full true cost. Right. And when it comes to a hard hardship withdrawal, it can't be just for any reason, right? What are the reasons? So if you have an early withdrawal, mm -hmm. like I said, you can get hit with that extra 10% penalty. Yeah. There might be some exceptions. That's what we call a hardship withdrawal, mm -hmm. immediate and major financial need. Mm -hmm. And there might be something like uh, a divorce that you're going through where you owe alimony or right. child support. You might have medical expenses that allow you to take that early withdrawal and not have to pay that penalty. Right. But those exceptions are pretty few and far between. You can find them on irs.gov. Yeah, yeah. Do your research. Exactly. This is just the start of the conversation exactly. right here at this desk. Uh, Stephanie, thank you very much. Thank you. This Money Watch segment has been brought to you by Merrill, a Bank of America company. What would you like the power to do?